Hello and welcome back to the MineTrek.net game server. This will be an update for the Enterprise D build. This is update 42, I'm not really sure. Anyways, I've been uh, kind of busy working a little bit on the secondary hull here. Got something to show off. Notice that uh, I do not have Gamma Bright on. The reason for that is so that you can sort of get the ambiance feel of it. Been working on main engineering. Now granted, this is just sort of a rough draft, sort of Nobody really wants to work on this, per se, so I'm sort of kind of kind of winging at it here because I'm not much of the uh, Enterprise D engineering room fan, so to speak. But uh, yeah, I've been working on it pretty pretty heavily this whole drive section area. Anyways, um, M Heller made a new warp core, and that's what's currently in the build. But yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, what can I say? You know, it's Minecraft. All we can do is what we can do. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to go ahead and try on Gamma Bright here. I'm sure it'll get changed and revised. Now, these have been broken up. Normally, this is like a really small alcove, but in order to get the spacing correct for the uh, wall turrets, um, I went ahead and did it this way, or the columns, whatever you want to call them. I'm not a fan of how this looks, but what can you do? Minecraft. Um, yeah, this is an interior block for this room. I'm also not a real big fan of this, but eh, what can you do? Come through here, 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 here. Anyways, this will be the path for the warp conduit. It's sort of kind of, you know, um, inset, so I left some space, so if we have to do some changes and stuff, we have a little bit of room to wiggle with. But uh, yeah, it just sort of wipes all the way back there. Don't mind this, I haven't dropped this down into the, into the deck yet. Um, somebody looks like somebody else has been working on it as well, doing some stuff with it. Not real sure here. Yeah, be careful not to drop any of this down onto the deck because that's where the hole is, so we don't want to put this down into the hole. Spin back around here. I'll show you what's going on with these lower decks here real quick. This is deck 36, of course. Um, as you can see, it looks like we got all the way down through deck 33 in the ships, 34, 35, 36, yeah. This has been kind of, I don't know, these areas are really similar. And one of the things I noticed with the uh, Sternbach plans, um, if you look at the drive section through these stacks at the uh, turbo lifts, there's no connection for the turbo lifts that are back here to the fore section of the ship. No, no lines whatsoever. And if you look at the plans, you'll see that the turbo lifts don't really have a they sort of they go back and then they kind of angle one way or another but they don't you get down here to the lower deck when they do this right here when they come back here and angle back on the Sternbach plans it doesn't really distinguish the difference between a turbo lift route and a corridor I, I guess when they when when you got down to these decks it was just sort of laziness and he's like yeah I'll just you know, copy, repeat, copy, repeat. And that's what I'm seeing here. So what I've done is I've tried to break up the area a little bit. I added a corridor through here. And all of this back here is all spying conduits and just not really well defined as to what it is. And so I'm kind of not really sure what to do with this section back here. I'm inclined to push the corridors all the way through on all these decks, but yeah, I don't know yet. That's something we'll have to look at when we get down and start really punching out these decks, which will be a long time from now. You know, we're looking at possibly sometime next year before I actually get down into these decks. My main my main goal is to get down through deck 36, sort of sketched out, like all of these decks here are currently. And then we can start working on, you know, the finer details of where things go and how things are laid out, and we can change stuff around. One of the problems I'm running into is this computer core. M found out, as I did, that the computer core, the plans call for the computer core to go all the way up, you know, to this deck here. But as you can see, it hits the hole. So, yeah. And then it has, like, corridors going around it on this deck, and then on the next deck, another corridor going around it. It just it, it can't be done. Um, it's, again the whole one is different than the plans. I don't know 
I think when they did the plans, they figured these techs would be lower into the secondary hall, but you can't do that because our hall, our, our deck spacing is at um, is pretty accurate as to where things go. But you know, even if it even if we did drop these decks down a little bit, that means these decks up here would have huge gaps in between them. So yeah, it's. It's, they made the design based off of uh, a 2D drawing while well, we're working with an actual 3D hull so we get to see these problems firsthand you know we, we get to encounter why sometimes the deck plans don't necessarily work with the hull that being said I'm sure if we tweaked it and did our things differently I'm sure we could probably horse shoe it in here and stuff but yeah I don't know but another problem I'm having or a lot of the decks call for this corridor to be dead center with this right here and I can't get that dead center and keep it dead center working my way down and that bothers me considerably because right there it's not dead center if we go up a deck um, yeah okay this I did this my bad that's uh, an actual tank uh, somebody else was doing it Derp. And then here it's not quite dead center um, because it's just sort of offset by one and this one here is sort of offset by one and I, I'm not a fan of that I think they should be pretty close together uh, ish so what I'm thinking about doing is unifying all of them and just having them kind of arc into this one spot here or put them all right here for this corridor right here but it's hard to do because as you go down this area spaces out a little bit, gets a little bit more room through here ish. As we come down to this deck, you can see how it now, with the way that everything's spaced out, it just sort of goes straight into here. I, I'm thinking about removing this corridor and then just having this corridor come around like this and then up and then removing this bathroom. So basically, the corridor will circle like this. That's just something I'm thinking about doing. I can honestly tell you that it's I've pulled my hair out quite a bit in this lower section I'm getting frustrated with it but you know it is what it is and I'm, you can see here this deck and this deck are kind of lined up I would probably leave this one in but again when I get down here um, I could go around I couldn't go around I don't know yet I really haven't figured out how I'm going to reconcile these differences and get back here I'll go one more down and you can see now where I'm at. I'm on this deck and moving down you can see how it moves off again back to that one little side there to kind of give an even space between here and I gotta keep these where they're at because I'm very happy with the placement form. Now this could move one more this way and this one could move of course one more this way but I'm gonna keep them where they're at and try to kinda do this as I come down so it will I don't know it's just one of those things that just drives me nuts because I don't know how to reconcile it yet so I'm just gonna keep working on it and try to figure it out this is one of my ideas right here to sort of have it kinda come up like this and again uh, I debate whether or not I want it to come around and meet here like this with a circular corridor kind of a thing and then up here I can't you know, I'll show you this real quick this corridor should go go around. God dang it! Damn it! Let me through there. Um, it should go all the way around, but I can't because what happens is the corridor hits the hull. And we've decided a while back that we do not want the we do not want any of the hull blocks showing on the corridors. So unless I want to go outside and reshape the hull, which if I do that, it makes the hull look janky. So I'm not going to do it because it it does make the hull look like crap. So basically this corridor is going to come over here and stop. So this corridor would actually benefit from coming around and connecting here and then going around and connecting to here again. And that's probably what I'll do here too. I don't know. It's just, i got to play it by ear. If I do this on all the decks, and then it doesn't matter about where this corridor actually intersects, I can just have the door here. You know, actually it would be a double white door into here on all the decks. So that's probably what I'm going to do. It just depends on how I can execute that on these lower decks. So yeah, oops, get that one filled real quick. 
Anyways, I've also added gangways that aren't in the deck plans, and that sort of throws off some of the other things. On a lot of the um, lower decks, this turbo lift kind of goes over here, then dog legs back down to here. So you have, a, you have an entrance here, and you have an entrance here. It doesn't make any sense. And of course, these decks are a lot longer than the, the plans call for. So we end up with like a lot of extra space back here that isn't accounted for in the plans. Um, again, <laughs> I can't explain it. It's just, you know, the plans are different than the whole. So if we were to accommodate for that up there, then we would have a lot more space back here than the, the plans show for. So it's just, it's a toss up. You know, we have to account for back there while trying to make this work as well. And I think Anne pulled this off pretty decently. She's the one that pretty much set up this core. So here's the core itself, and then this area around the core is the servicing area. I'm not sure what this is. I think this might be the the core, it's in, interior uh, lift mechanism for the core, but I don't know yet. Um, the core is pretty much M's purvey, so I'll leave it to her. You know, just to sort of satiate my uh, curiosity, I spent, I don't know, I, I, I printed the um, the ship, all the decks, and then I took it up, lined them all up, and then I stuck a, uh, a uh, I guess you'd call it a thumbtack, through the turbo lifts, so that I could see how they all line up and everything else. And I tell you, uh, it's a lot different working with a 3D hull than it is working with a 2D hull, or a drawing as opposed to an actual physical hull. And you can see where a lot of the problems they ran into designing the plans that they probably would not have ran into if they'd been working with this. So I can say that our plans are definitively more in-depth than you would see with like the Sternbach plants and definitely uh, more in depth than the uh, white fire plants. But um, yeah, as it goes, you know, um, they're good guides. But boy, we've had to improvise on just about 75% of the ship just to accommodate for things. So it's been fun, but it's tedious and slow going. But we are making progress. And what I like is the fact that none of the plans really call for gangways except for the second era, of, excuse me, the primary hall but nothing for the secondary hall. Now you can go from deck one on the bridge all the way down now, down almost to the engineering deck. Well, at least you will go down all the way to the engineering deck at some point. Right now it just stops where I'm working at, which is up here on deck 33. And I'll show you again, as I was mentioning this before I went off on a tangent, this will spiral down, kind of stay in this area here, working its way all the way down to the bottom deck. You can see here, how it works. And I bisected this engineering deck. Again, why not? I mean, we got a turbo lift entrance there, and I think there's another turbo lift entrance up there. Um, if not, I'll put one in. But uh, got a Jeffrey's tube. Now this Jeffrey's tube, all the way down to main engineering. It'll probably go down even further. Right now, I just stopped it at main engineering. As you can see, it goes all the way up all the way up here to the upper trunk line where the trunk line comes off and uh, if I'm not mistaken it comes out into here and then I think there's another Jeffrey's tube entrance up here yes right here and then goes up into the main shuttle bay and everything else um, also and if I'm not mistaken thought it went up further. I'm going to have to double check that because I think it should go up one more deck, maybe two more decks. I wanted to connect up here so that there is a direct line all the way down. And I thought I had that already set up. I do. Here it is right here. Okay, my bad. I didn't go back far enough, but this is the top of the shaft. And then you enter into this area here. And then you come back here and you enter into the uh, spine area of the ship. And then you go up the spine, as we're doing currently, into areas like this. You just keep following the spine controller all the way up. 
and then you would go forward and then connect um, with the turbo lift system that actually interlocks with the ship. So yeah, all that's going to work out pretty good for us. But as you can see here, it's starting to look pretty decent. Again, all of this was done by a panic, and uh, I don't know who was working on the hangar, but I did sketch out the hangar again to sort of kind of lay out how how it should go, and I'm hoping that. Um, yeah, I don't think it's going to have to get changed. I think everything will be fine with it. M liked where the um, impulse engines were placed, so she says not to worry about changing any of this stuff up here. It all works just fine. So as long as there's, you know, room for her, she, she, she as far as I know, everything up here is okay. So all this stuff will be here. She also agreed that, uh, yeah, no batteries or sensitive equipment near a window. Um, there will be, on the lower decks, a lot of inertial dampening stuff that's actually it'll be spotted in alongside the hull so there will be some systems that do right alongside the hull but I don't think there'll be any windows in those rooms and again there might be so we'll find out she also went through and s did some decoration work on the tank to make it look more tankish as you can see here now these tanks can also be s set up so like this tank here can be isolated off as one tank and then this tank here can be isol isolated off as another tank same thing with that one and that one back there or we can even make them bigger if we really wanted to by getting rid of this one of these rooms just sort of have the tank drop down but you still have that turbo lift going through it and same thing here drop it down but again why you know I mean this that's a lot of deuterium for one engine one big engine anyways but yeah check it out it's not looking too bad anyways as the turbo as the uh, Jeffrey soups come up here this is back to the center of the ship hmm? this happened. Fix this right now. I'll have to go back down here and probably move this. Yeah, this one's off center by one. So it'll have to get, uh, you know, I don't care if it gets moved or not. Actually, it should get moved over one. So I'll figure out how to do that here in a second. Actually, I'll do it right now. Remember, because this goes up the center of the ship, this one here gets sort of kind of offset a little bit. It's no big deal, but it's just one of those things that yeah, we got to account for so we can keep some continuity. This one too wide. Same thing with this one. Give me the red below. Come on. Yeah, I'm gonna come back out here. And we grab our gray block here. Down under here and stuff like that, I just usually fill this with black. And same thing with this side because it doesn't really need to go all the way up. There we go. And these two will be gray. So it'll be something like that. Um, does this need to be. I don't think it does. Yeah, I should need it. Um, in some cases, these won't line up, but as you can see now, it is in line. So it, it'll be okay, I think. I'm thinking, anyways. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go through this on this side. Just to be on the safe side. There we go. We'll figure it out later when we do it. But, anyways, yeah, you can see how that looks. It'll go. Eh, darn it. Get back there. There we go trying to stay consistent and make it so that little things like that don't show up. Now this will be a wall right here and the only way in and out will be through
through this area here would be through the Jeffries tubes. But, you know, big open area like this. And then most likely like an observation area looking down into whatever this area will be, some engineering section. Let me come back up here, and I did add this as well so that we could get from port to starboard and into the uh, central shaft of the uh, of the uh, gangway system here. Granted, these don't need to be in all done. I just like to do it, you know, just because. Why not? There. And there will be a lot of this stuff will get all tidied up and everything else as we go. So you won't see 90%, you won't see any of this action unless you tear the ship apart or, you know, whatever. Um, when it's torn apart, you'll probably see it, but otherwise you probably won't ever see it again. I don't know if this will ever, if this build will ever be publicly released. It's a possibility, but I, I would, uh, hey Matt. the mats. So this will probably get all changed around a little bit. Um, this area here, because I want to hide the fact that this is the roof. I might do some more tricky stuff through here, some, you know, sleight of hand to kind of hide that. But yeah, you know how it is. But I went ahead and approved this, so you can see here how the, we're going to do both conduit facings. And then I added this trunk line back here about the same size as the one that you see in the Enterprise E, but it looks smaller because instead of having just one pipe going down, it actually has a dual pipe system. And again, this goes all the way down to the bottom of the ship. And then again, you add the warp core and all that other stuff. And up here, there is a lot of the warp core machinery. The warp core goes slightly above the deck, and which is fine because then we can put all the warp core equipment and stuff for the top of the core up here on this deck. If we have to, we can knock out this section up here will also accommodate it. So it'd be like three or four stories, three stories I think it is through here. And if we do that, then we can fill this in and have this as a, uh, well, I'd like, still like to leave it open. So it'd be like three stories here for the warp core stuff. But it's up to M. She's doing most of the engineering stuff. And then we're able to do another long ladder on this side so we have more room over here. We don't have to worry about running ladders and stuff up, up and down it and stuff like that. So yeah. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I, I gotta say, eh, overall, you know, it's coming together slowly. I haven't done much work with Deck 9 up there other than filling in some more minor stuff. Um, haven't done anything with Deck 8 since the last video other than M did the M did fill in the uh, deuterium tank up there, so now the whole deuterium tank is in. And I've been focusing mostly down here trying to get these decks knocked out. Not knocked out, but, you know, sketched up so that we can, you know, at least if something were to happen, somebody could come in and say, oh, I sort of see how it works and finish up the pattern for us and, you know, in case I'm absent or whatever. But, yeah, we're looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Once I get down to deck 36, it'll just be a breeze to go the rest of the decks. So once those are all done, I'll probably finish up deck 8, finish up deck 9, and get those reintegrated into the main hall. Then we'll have uh, all the way down through deck 10, uh, well, deck 8 and 9, and then we'll start on the main deck, which is deck 10, which is L deck 2. The two largest decks are 9 and 10 of the Enterprise. I'm still waiting on some stuff from M real quick. Whoops. Gosh darn it. I keep forgetting if I hold control when I do that stuff. I'll check that out. That's interesting. Never seen that before. Uh, is it shift? There we go. I figured it out. Go back up to 1500 here. There we go. Eh, yeah, I got a lot of wrenches in my uh, inventory here. Get rid of these. That must be one of the inventory mods that I never get to use. But uh, you come through here, all these, will, all the windows for all these decks will be in. And RCS thrusters appear to be well corrected. I will show you real quick here before I log off or log off in the video. Actually, let's go ahead and go up here. It's a lot easier to see it up here. Uh, uh. This uh, was widened out this 9 forward lounge. 
So it's not as big as 10 forward, but yeah, it's here for fun. Come back down through. Actually, how is that going to work? The 9 forward is there. That puts us right. This is. That's 8 forward. So this is not allowed. This is. This has to be called 8 forward. But if that's deck 9. Ugh. I tell you. Anyways, so when they, uh, because this is here, um, we can't do the, the scene where, uh, Troy, uh, Data, and O'Brien get possessed, and Jordy and Roe are above them, and those three are in 10 forward and they have hostages, and Troy, or excuse me, uh, Jordy and Roe try to knock him out, and they were able to knock out Troy but, and O'Brien, but they weren't able to knock out Data. Yeah. This right here was supposed to be where that happened. Now, it still is going to happen, but unfortunately, because we added the theater, where it's not going to be a straight corridor like you see in the show, and of course all of this gets changed because none of this is actually here. Uh, the 9 Ford is significantly smaller lounge now. I might actually make 9 Ford bigger up there as well. Because why not at this point? Uh, I can. There's plenty of room to do it. So I'm going to make 9 Ford slightly larger. Eh, I don't know if it should be bigger or not, but I'm going to make it bigger. Um, ish. Uh, that That's just, this is just one of those quirks we're just going to have to live with. Uh, I can tell you this is going to be a pain because right here is right above 10 forward. So, yeah. So basically when they do their thingy majiggy, this will not be here because there will be no Jeffrey's access to deck 10. So this is actually filled in. And it means this, 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 or like that. So in the show when you see them they'll actually be sitting like right here and right here and they try to burrow down into the 10 forward and knock them out because the implementation of the theater we don't have that straight corridor now and what I'll do here with 9 forward is I can actually bring 9 forward to right here and then the entrance to 9 forward would be you know like I'll launch this out a little bit like so so this would be like you step in here and then 9 forward entrance would be like right here and all of this would be 9 forward so I'll run it by M. Heller and see what she says because we don't need this corridor going up here and then having a small lounge we can make the lounge a lot bigger yeah so that's what we'll do I'm not too worried as long as as long as this is here we got plenty of room to do the okay let's stun them and that'll account for that so yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll pull this section out, copy it, remake it, and then if M doesn't like it, we'll still have this to fall back on. Anyways, I'll show over here at the RCS thrusters. Yep, and it's still on. What I did here is I made a large cutout for the RCS thrusters, which will be mirrored on deck 10. And as you come up, you can just go around it like so. And these will be emergency lockers. And they'll be accessible. I haven't decided from which side yet, either that deck or this one. I don't know yet. Or corridor. I don't know yet. Come back through here. And then this is mirrored to the aft section of the ship as well. And the reason for this is 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 we need space here. And the deuterium tanks and things like that are gonna be like rounded rounded tanks that stack here. Maybe another rounded tank that stacks here. So we needed room for the tanks plus the RCS thruster. And then all the machinery and stuff that uh, moves the deuterium around will probably most likely go down here. And it'll probably run around this corridor here. Depending, I think we can pull it off. Uh, back
back to main engineering here, or to this deuterium section here. Anyways, we'll have pumps back here that'll actually, if they need deuterium to run the RCS thrusters, this tank can fill these tanks and then fill the forward tanks as well. So there won't be a need to have anything larger than the two tanks here and the two tanks back there. That's my logic anyways. I hope it works out well. And I am also thinking about doing a live stream test, a second test of the live streams to see how well it works. Um, granted, the frame rates suck. We can't get away from that. That's just, you know, the limitations of uploading. And as I've found out, a lot of ISPs, um, a lot of streamers are running into this problem with their ISPs. Uh, a lot of people that do st streaming on YouTube and stuff like that um, can't do as much live streaming as they would like to do because of limitations for uploading and stuff like that. Uh, I can tell you that the second test of our lives, of my live stream went a lot better than the first couple of tests. So when I do a live stream again, it will probably be, uh, I'll probably do it when there are a few people on the server, like Cass, maybe uh, Waffles and a couple of the other guys, Shadow, maybe GOF, and basically I'll just work on the ship maybe work around with Cass, play around with Cass a little bit. He may or may not be in the uh, convert in the like a Discord conversation and things like that. And uh buzz around, check out all the other builds and things like that. So anyways, I don't know when I'll do that. It'll probably be uh eh, I wanna say this weekend, but I really don't think it will be this weekend, which will be the last couple of days of the month of October. Today right now is the 26th of October, so we'll give it a try. I'll probably be out of town this next weekend, so I doubt I'll be doing a live stream. Plus I have to kind of organize it with Cass and the other guys, see when they're going to be on, if they didn't, don't mind me doing a live stream while they're actually on the server and stuff. So anyways, I do appreciate taking time to watch, and I, if you did that like button, I would greatly appreciate it. And if you liked us on our Facebook page, that would also be great. And please, if you like donating to the server, there will be a link in the description below. Any and all funds do help keep the server up and running. Anyways, thanks again for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.